one. Anybody say it's day one yet? It's day one. Day one. Broken sunglasses. That little guy can't get his shit together. Can't get his <laughs> together. Woke up this morning at, uh, I don't know, 6 o'clock. We started shooting at 6.30 tonight. Travel in the middle. How's the flight in? The flight was a little rocky, I'm not gonna lie. It was wingtip, about touchdown with the tarmac on landing, which was a little sketchy. Other than that, pretty easy flight. Didn't catch Ebola. I haven't been here since I was a little kid. My grandparents brought me here a long time ago with my old brother, so I'm pretty stoked. Gonna go shoot some monuments tonight. Do that whole thing, should be fun. Now, D.C. is a very small, compact city. About 30% of the city is national parks. You have a park just about every block you go through. That's the east wing of the White House right there. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One more time. DC after dark. The best tour in DC. Come see all the miners a little bit tonight. It's balmy here in Gettysburg, Illinois. <laughs> I'm thinking about just putting my shorts on. Did you say Illinois? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where we are. <laughs> okay, here's our living quarters for the next 19 days. This is Dane's, Dane's taking his claim. <laughs> I'm taking He'll be the taking the first tent. <laughs> <laughs> Boys are working real hard in there. They're um, getting our travel solidified for Argentina. Check out Cole over there. Pretending he's, to read. He's typing in the little symbols that he sees on the paper and putting them into the computer, hoping that it will say a path to him. Print. 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 from where we just did our little layover in JFK and now we're headed to Buenos Aires for our first kind of international leg of our first trip. We put Dan and I in one room. We've got these pretty pretty sweet beds. I think what they did is they took a, a full-size bed and then just sawed it in half. There's a scary ghost in the... Ah! It's a good little drop down there. We've got a little nerve going right now. Hiked out of the jungle. We're here uh, deep in the heart of the jungle. We had to hike out. Was that or get left behind? The rest of the group's already in the truck. Let's do this. Just keep walking, that'll give me. It's act normal for once. We're in Iceland at the burger joint. We'll have some fun. It's our yeah. first stop after we get off the plane. This is the secret Icelandic super secret double top secret french fry sauce that we're gonna give a rip here. Iceland. Brad Brett came to us to make this video for Dreyline. They they said that they weren't really interested in doing a marketing piece or they didn't want to do a piece that focused too much on you know the Grey Line logo and the Grey Line brand. <laughs> what do you think about Rex? He doesn't have any socks. That's just weird. <laughs> Traditional Atlantic dry fish. Here we go. <laughs> really good. Here you can have mine. Yeah. <laughs> I got to cross off a bucket list tonight. I've been waiting to see his northern lights my whole life. And uh, finally, 31 years old, I got to see him. I 
looked like we were going to get uh, a little blocked out at the beginning, but we stuck it through, and uh, words don't really, I'm just really happy. Snuck into the Garden of Versailles, We're back there on the back side. We, uh, we set up a jib shot on the front and we got shut down by SWAT team. SWAT team and a, a little boy from Manila. He's probably 12. Going to the Eiffel Tower. Close to. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's not a big deal, but parkour is just part of our lives. Idea is you put your lock down, you come back on your 50th anniversary, you take it off. What happens if you don't make it that far? Well, there's 70,000 locks, so there's probably at least 65,000 that aren't coming back. We've been on these bikes, riding around Paris for the last 30 minutes, trying to find the Eiffel Tower, and I think we're about ready to call it quits because you can't really find it. So, I don't know, maybe we'll spend another 20 minutes riding around, and if you can't find it, we'll just head back to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Time to ride a camel. This is one of the most amazing things so far this trip. Just a few hours past Casablanca and Marrakesh over the Atlas Mountains is the Sahara Desert. And it's really one of the most still places I've ever been. And especially coming from Paris, Buenos Aires, DC, this is the first time where it's almost like a vacuum of silence. And, uh, it's, it's really powerful and something special. Day one, Hong Kong. It's Halloween and tomorrow in less than 12 hours, it's just dog's birthday. What's up with the Brad man here in Hong Kong just rolled off the plane? Here's our boy. Hey man. Hey, how, how you doing? Welcome to Hong Kong. Thank you. How's it going, buddy? Brad can't prepare. What does he have? He's got a Halloween folder of fun. The party beads. Happy Halloween. All right, let's so. do it. What's up, player? Just coincidentally happened to have the correct headwear for this particular part of town. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Be coming to Australia. <laughs> she's uh, she's just straight up like what? You, you didn't realize that this was your old passport. You made it all the way to Hong Kong. It's gonna work, dude. It's gonna work. I think that sometime in the recent past, Cole had a night similar to last night. And it's somewhere in the mix, his passport became vaporized, and now he's paying the price for his past sins. Well, apparently this is my old passport, not the, not the one that they've replaced it with. I grabbed it, not noticing the fact that I went to Abu Dhabi two years ago, and I, didn't, I don't have any Abu Dhabi stamps in this one, so 
might cost me the rest of my, my grade line trip. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. One man down, Cole, we had to leave Cole in Hong Kong. We got a man down. We're not man. even joking, it's, it's not good, it's sad. Last known whereabouts, Hong Kong, airport. Uh, if you see Charlie Golf, Give him tell, a <laughs> tell him to call Tim Schistler. Give him a current passport and send him on his way. <laughs> Lemonite. What is it? Lemonite. Lemington. Poke it up, pound cake. Oh, that's really good. Lemington. Ah! Heli shots, heli tour. We're going to shoot the, the gray line double decker bus. We got a little a bit of wind and a little bit of moisture coming out of the sky. That was sick, dude. Seriously, that guy got us down into the <laughs> between the towers. It was like a tower to the side. It was sick. It was good. Last big flight. Melbourne, LA, San Francisco. Where we meet up with Cole again. We'll be one. How am I looking? I feel like rough, dude. <laughs> I'm feeling surprisingly good. Yeah, you won't tomorrow, though. Nobody got sick. Uh -huh. No one came back with any parasites that we know of. No crazy belly aches. Only one delayed flight. Only one rejected visa. All in all, you gotta say that's pretty good with 20 some flights, six continents, 40,000 miles. We made it. San Francisco, last destination. Great life. Oh, they could bite him in the spider. Ah, sit, ah, sit, ah, sit. <laughs> Francisco. Oh, America. United States. That way. So we had November 5th in Melbourne, and now we're having November 5th in San Francisco. Yeah. Which one was the better of the two? It's been weird both times. Back on! Woo! Fight! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jim!